Chief Apostle Emeritus, Apostle James Henry Jr., and to Lady Henry, in their access to our Chief Apostle Eli, the Apostle T. Clark Jr., and Lady Clark, and to my own wife, Lady Juanita Daly, who I've been married to for 52 years. Follow him, but if, if, if it's Satan that's your master, you follow him. 
if you just for the next eight minutes as all these critters will hide from that place, then that there's a place called the side. A place called the side. We are there in my, in my scripture text now. When I read this whole text in the, uh, another version of the Bible, it says, it reads a little bit differently and, and uh, it gives me insights into what the scripture is saying here. It, it, it says that, and Elijah came unto all the people and said, how long he hauled them to two opinions and so forth. But in the, in the uh, young to literal translation, it says, Elijah come up nigh unto the people and said, Till when ye are leaping on two branches, if Jehovah is God, go after him. And if Baal, go after him. And the people have not answered him a word. Now he puts this in a different context. To help us understand, it's really talking about people who leap from one branch to another. And he said that leaping from one branch to another poses a couple of problems. He said when you leap from one branch to the other, there is a period of time, short or long, that you are suspended in air.
said, but you got to go to a place called the side. There's a place there. One thing I learned about women, I've been married 52 years. i got to get that right because my wife is sitting in the audience. She, she said, you never get it right. 52 years, and i got the prettiest wife in the building. But it's not a bed of roses. It never has been. She never has recognized my intellect. She don't give me credit for being a bishop. She washes my underwear and my socks, so she has a different perspective about me than other people do. And one thing I learned about women is that they all go to the same schools. And they all graduate with honors. So I don't care which one you get, it might look better than yours, and it might be shaped better than yours, it might talk better than yours, but when you get it home, first thing you want to know is where the credit card and give me the keys to the car. Amen, somebody. But Elijah asked them now. between two opinions. And I decided that there's a lot of the opinions I'd like to get into. I'm not going to have time tonight to get into, but will it be God? Will it going to be Balaam? Do you realize how often we are faced with these, these choices when uh, I, I go to the people when Peter asks him, how, you know, have you received the Holy Ghost? Huh? Since you believe, well, have you received the Holy Ghost? Since you believe, a lot of us are still hunting opinion about our salvation. We know we are saved on our foot all the Ghost. We asked the Lord for we believed at one time that we got it, but the devil got Billy and put down in your mind and now you're sitting in the pews when we ask him for you to get up and celebrate God for what he has done for you. I walked out 
that night and started walking toward him. And see, this is the thing that I know about salvation. It finds your condition where you are. You can be on the bus, the train, airplane, doesn't matter. I, I was just walking across the floor. And, and I spent my life calling on Jesus. You, 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 you. They said, call him like you mean it. You, 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 you ain't serious. I did that so much that I hated carry service. Every time they called service, said, we had some mothers in our gone now. But every time tire service would start, they come looking for somebody. They'd be looking for me. The big center. Big. <laughs> Mother Mary be with Scott. She comes son, grab me by my arm, put my arm on the hook, pull me down the aisle. I said, why we got to do this every week? I know what's going to happen. Y'all going to make me say, gee, 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 gee. Nothing going to happen. But that night, when I was on my way I'm looking at you. You might look good on the outside, 
but uh, your, your mind ain't made up. When you leave out of here, no matter what I do, you're still going back to the bar. You're still going back to the street. Your mind is not made up, but I'm going to take you to a place called the sun where you're going to have to make your mind up. I'll put you in the hospital on your, on your sick bed. I mean, I've been to look up for a while. Been in there three weeks. Doctors can't figure out what's wrong with you. Got diagnosis. One doctor said this, another said the other. I said, I don't know. We need to do more, more research. Then you get that one that comes in, the specialist that flew in from overseas. He's looking at you, shaking his head. Well, what does that mean, doc? I'll be back. I don't really don't want to see it. Now we start to, that's our series. This, I need to talk to I talk to him. I said, Lord, the first thing I'm going to do is say, I, I haven't been uh, what I knew I should be. And uh, <laughs> I could have been out the Wednesday night Bible class a whole lot of time. I missed, I, I messed up. And, and there were lots of times when the church was open, I was home watching TV, I went to the ball game when I should have been there. I, I know that, but we got something serious going on here. You know what I mean? The man shaking his head, that don't look good. I need your help. Now, can I call the saints in this church and say, pray for me? Uh, I know that the prayers of the righteous are there with much. And all they need to do is just, just get together, talk to you. If I'm not getting through to you, if you're not hearing me, hear them, but help me now. There is a place that the Lord takes us to. And the thing about us, Israel, I want to say, I'm just about our time, is this. We are the house of God. We are the holy church of the living God. This is a good church. And y'all are clapping. Y'all, somebody should be clapping. This is a good church. And let me tell you what. The Lord told us in Amos, He said, Israel, you only have I. I, I know of all the families of the earth. I chose you out. I called you mine. I picked you out, but at the same time, he says, I don't want you to get the big head. Don't get lifted up because sometimes, you know, we, we are some of the most self-righteous people in the world. And you almost forget where you came from. You forget that you were a prostitute in the street and God forgave you. You forget that you were laying drunk in the curb and the Lord picked you up and brought you out and dusted you up. You forget all about it. I got my white dress on now. You forget where you came from. But he said, listen here, let, let me tell you this. I'm, you're mine. I called you out. It's just like us with bad children. Nobody ever told us our children are bad. We know they're bad. You can't turn your back on them five minutes. They're coming. That's us. He said, you only have my number. Don't get high-minded. Don't get lifted up. He said, you're my sheep. I call you sheep. My sheep. Different side. 
sizes. They might be different colors. They may be in a different texture. But he said, Mashi! Woo! Hey, Mashi. You don't have to like them, but that's your problem. You don't have to decide. Am I big enough to stretch out my arms and bring Mashi back in the mouth of God? Yes! Woo!
strangers from all over the world. I'm looking over here at the bistro. Some of y'all don't want a bistro carpet out this week. I know you have. And then the good food. You know, give me my, my lunch tails. I love the turkey wings. I haven't eaten the chicken yet, but I'm not going to before I leave here. But that, that's, that's, that's owned by uh, Bishop McLaughlin. And, and that's just established with one. He got another one on the other side of town. You know what I'm saying? That's two. And, it, and it's grand, and it's lovely, and it's wonderful, isn't it? But we have to ask ourselves, why does he have two flourishing restaurants and a huge church? Why? And we have none of that. Let's just stop this thing. Why can't God do it? And guess what? He don't keep the same. I don't hear you. He don't eat clean. He don't keep the peace thing. We're doing all the sacrificing, walking upright before God, doing the things that please him in his sight. And yet, we're still down on our hands and knees, scratching out and out of living some problems. You start 
phone service at 9 o'clock and we start at 11 just like the phone said. We can't fellowship with you. These are the tools of Satan. To keep us fractured, to keep us separated. Amen. I'm so happy tonight to have our Apostle Kirk Hedden from the Holy Church of the Living God, Holy God the Truth, our prayer for the people. That's our DNA we're looking at there. Back in 1949, when the church split up and we went all different ways, I did research on how many different House of God, Holy Church of the Living God, Holy God the Truth, you would not believe how many there are now. Started out with one, we got them all over the place now. Amen. But I believe that God's got a place. He said, you decide. I, I went to his convention just a week or so ago. And when I walked in, I told a story about my own family. I said, my family, the Daily family, was kind of fractured. We were funny. My father was a Baptist minister. My mother was a Pentecostal. She became Pentecostal after she married the Baptist preacher, which caused some problems. And uh, I'll make a real long story short. Back in the old days, uh, the, the saints believed in greet your brother with a holy kiss, you know. My, my dad said, he told me on his hospital bed, he said, hey, I, I, when Louise was staying out, all kind of hours in the night, I'm not back to church. We, we go to church at 6 o'clock, we out at 7, 7 30. Never heard nothing beat up being at 11, 12, 1 o'clock at night. He said, I got real curious, so I got up and walked down to this little storefront church, and I looked in the door. He said, my God, Georgie. They were kissing each other. <laughs> and so my mom and dad broke up. And we were raised in separate cities. She moved to Philadelphia where the Lord told her to go there. My dad said, well, they told me nothing. I'm not moving. And so for years, we didn't talk as a family. I never knew my aunts, I never knew my uncles, I didn't know my grandparents and none of them because we didn't talk. But one, one year we had a family reunion. They called it and said, we're having it in your city, in Baltimore, and I want you to come. And my daughter was there, my wife was there, and, and I walked in the door. When I walked in, they said, yeah, oh my God, there come Winters. That was my grandfather's name. Look at him. He just like him. He walked like Winters. Then when I said, oh, oh my God, he talked like Winters. I said, well, now I got a problem. My mother always told us we were special. And uh, I grew up saying daily, so special. Amen. Amen. And when I looked around that room, I saw a whole bunch of people that looked just like me. Undeniable. So I looked at them, I looked at them. They were cute, you know what I'm saying. God, and I told them as I looked around, they were all dressed up in white, in pieces, sitting around, I'm listening to the music, sound like I was right at home. And I told them there, and I'm saying again, I don't know what the difference is. I'm trying to, I heard Pastor Clinton getting up talking about the fast, the, the, the Sabbath day, the feast days, and this, that, and the other, and eating clean. I said, my God, I've heard this sermon before. But God has to take us to a place where we have to decide. What is wrong with us? 49 bothers me for a lot of reasons because it's like the Hatfields and the McCoy. They fought for years and didn't know what they were fighting over. When the fighting was over, they started intermarrying and intermingling. And they don't even know what that battle was about today. I'm looking around at all these 37 different houses of the Holy Church and living God denominations in the United States. Oh yeah, I'm there, Pastor Martin, Chief Apostle of another Holy Church of the Living God in unity. He had a little something on that to make himself different, but that's all right. But I think God is moving us to a place called Messiah, where we can stop the foolishness, 
stop the, the, the greater than not type of attitude that we have sometimes. We can forgive first day folk uh, in our churches that come and we won't fellowship with folk that eat clean, keep the Sabbath feet day. So but come on, y'all. Right. God is going to bring his church together. Now that might be a feast of tabernacles. Something. I don't know. Let these young folk here figure it out. They're going to figure a way for us to come together where we're going to have a enough service. We're going to come together and, 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 and celebrate God like we, we should be. Do you, you understand what I'm saying? The music is the same. The songs are the same. The messages are the same. That's just got to be awesome. And I'm looking for it. I'm doing everything I can to make that happen. You know what? I believe God works it. This time, 
he confessed. And they gave him a visa. But when he got here, he showed me, he said, this visa is a five-year visa.
Christian family. But because of education, I attended Roman Catholic school and they forced me to become a member of the church. God loved me, so I also loved God. I was a math boy, helping their priest in all his daily duties in the church during low mass, high mass, pontifical mass. Uh, when I say this, some people doubt that I can prove that I was a Catholic. Keeping Sunday, that's Saturday. Uh, hallelujah. We don't understand what they teach. They don't allow us to take the Bible, only their Bible. That blown my story. It was on August 15th, 1957. 1957. After we have set the mass and I went to bed, a light appeared in the room. I saw somebody's face telling me, go and tell your people to repent, otherwise I will come with fire and destroy the world. From morning, I called one of the messengers to lead me to our priest. Because we can't church, if we disobey the voice of your priest, we have to go to confession so that we pray for you and you have since forgiven. I told him, Prince Father, last night when I was on bed, I saw somebody telling me to go and preach or to tell you to repent, otherwise you will come and destroy the world with fire. He said that God responded, the only thing they did, <laughs> you African boys, you eat too much. So, when you, <laughs> when you sleep, you just uh, have dreams. This is uh, not true. Get away! Okay? It's a doctrine of the current church. You pay your police. What can I do? I want to again the same thing to me. But every night this person message me, telling me the same. All that I can do is to leave the church and find my way. So I started preaching in the year 1957. August coming. 58 years. So if I ask my father's brothers, sisters here, how old am I? It's difficult to answer. Through that, when I started preaching from town to town, one night, he said, no, every day, every hour, when you want to talk to me, do that on Saturdays only. I knew nothing about Sabbath. I knew nothing about it. But the only thing is that when you come to me, I will tell you, come on this Saturday for your prayers. And every prayer or anything that will ask my prayers, it comes to me. Praise the Lord. This One 
A in Yama Pepins. One will follow me and even my father, Apostle Del, bear with this. Not that I am just joking before you. If you find I was on the top or on this platform, I said in my heart, I am overwhelmed, surprised and amazed. Who brought me to this glorious platform? It's nobody that Yashua Media is Jesus Christ. No, he will never do something or let to somebody. This brought me to serve Yahweh on Sabbath days. I know and I believe when they brought me a conference, conference and special programs, I can't interrupt. But if Yahweh permits, when they I will be with you and we will pray. And what I'm telling you, you will get the result. If I'm telling lies or I'm speaking the truth to you. I was alone. Everybody come to me and say, Pastor, if you change the day from Saturday to Sunday, one lawyer said, I will bring you 20 pastors. Then I said, no. The servant I'm keeping is not true or by or from or with anybody. But the one who appeared to be in vision confirmed that I should do everything on Saturdays or Sabbaths. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's the reason. Grandfather, I was sleeping that son. How great is my God? Yes. How great is his name? He is greatest of all. He brought back the great great fingers and sent away the people past him. He's the same Yahweh. He's the same Yahshua. And the same Holy Spirit. That is the truth. If only you believe and you trust him. You will never be the same. Now, how can it be true that I know that it is the will of our Heavenly Father, the creator of all the universe, and He said, okay, to this world, and summoned on the tree of Calvary for our salvation's sake. He has done it. Brought me this so far. So I say thank you all in Jesus' name.
is the only guarantee of a future. That's why the fourth chapter of Genesis, when the Bible says that God, when Cain killed Abel, God put a mark on Cain and sent him to the land of Nod. And Eve wept bitterly. The Bible said God looked upon sorrow of her heart in verse 5. Bless her with sin. God gave 